hit record. Okay. Anyways, so our company <laughs> has the most amazing blueprint. And so, like I said, two months into this, when I decided that I was going to do this as, as a business, I learned how to make this about the people. And then I followed our company's blueprint. So here's where, if you're brand new in this company, here's where I'm speaking to you. Don't feel discouraged. Don't think I've been spinning my wheels because I'll tell you guys, I spun my wheels for two solid months, like literally just doing, <laughs> putting out those Facebook posts to every single person on my, you know, Facebook, uh, every friend I had, I, I, I did it. And so, but what I did was when I learned about the blueprint and I learned how to make this about the people, I did a couple of things. One, I learned our company's story. So how many of you guys know our company's story? I mean, yeah, awesome. I mean, like for me, I just wanted to know, you know, key points. So know that we were, you know, we aired on an on ABC in 2005. We were a $5 million company. Um, the stocks went down. I mean, you guys, you guys know this, right? The stocks went down. We couldn't fill the people's orders. Everything happened off of pure speculation of just watching that ABC report. Um, you know, we went from retail, direct sales. We, um, you know, in, into going head to head with direct selling in uh, 2009. In 2009, we did over $2 million in sales we're publicly traded. Um, talk a little bit about our product story. Mostly talk about the part of the product story that is so important to you. What are you passionate about? What excites you? For me, the biggest thing was pro tandem. I still have people, I'm in a town of 5,000 people and I still have people today that come up to me and go, oh, do you still do that pro tandem thing? Like that's how awful I was. I was the pro tandem lady and I still am because I was so excited. So talk about what excites you. If it's Axio, if you know, if it's physique, if you had amazing results there, talk about our products, be passionate about it. Um, you know, the scientific breakthrough guys, this is the most phenomenal company ever. I mean, we all know that we wouldn't be here, right? But the science behind it is huge for me my favorite thing to say to people when i sit down is talk about that very first study and that's the one where it's just talking about that pro tandem reduces oxidative stress by 40 percent in 30 days and my favorite thing to say is 100 percent of the time in all mammals and why is that my favorite thing because it says it in the study and secondly the person sitting in front of me or on a zoom or on the phone has shock factor right they look at you and go what like, and I'll go, that's a bold statement, right? Like that is such a bold statement. Yeah, that's pretty bold. I can prove it to you scientifically that this will actually reduce the oxidative stress in your body by 40% in 30 days. Shock people, shock people what you're passionate about. Make them see that. So, you know, and then that NRS2 technology, you know, when I first joined, we didn't talk a lot about Nerf2 technology. I mean. It, you know, the bottle says Nerf2 activator. My friend who introduced this to me, um, he's an MD. He introduces this to me and he's like, yeah, this is NRF2. And I was like, Nerf what? Like, I'm thinking Nerf ball, Nerf gun. Like, I don't know what he's talking about. Talk about what excites you. But that Nerf2 technology, the cool part is go to PubMed and on this side, if you type in Nerf2, I'm sure you guys have all looked at this. You go to the side, there's that little graph and it will actually, and I've taken people there to show them the growth on PubMed from where Nerf2 started to where it is now in the studies from where, you know, in just the last few years, how many, I mean, how big it's grown. It's, it's phenomenal and it blows people away. Shock people, shock people with the excitement about what this company is. So, um, you know, talk about oxidative stress, what it's linked to, um, like I said, pub, PubMed, peer review studies. But the biggest thing for me was, you guys, not only just learning the, customer, or the company's story, the other thing was that killed it for me. And I can't stress this enough. I can't stress this enough to my team, and I can't stress this enough to you tonight, and that is third-party validation. And it is the most 
scary. I mean, it is so scary. I remember people saying, you've got to use third party validation. And I'd be like, what are you talking about? I just boldly asked somebody to listen to this. I just boldly, you know, put myself out there and I'm trying to get this person on a phone call or do a one-on-one -on -one with them. And now you're telling me I have to either bring someone with me or in the middle of our conversation, I have to be like, Hey, guess what? I want you to talk to this person. You're going to freak them out, right? That was in my brain. My, my brain would instantly say, I'm going to freak them out. And they're going to be like, no way, no, how am I going to do this? But you know what, you guys, honestly, you just work it in. You just work it in. And a lot of times, so if I had someone coming and I was doing a one-on-one -on -one with them and I'd have my upline and I would text, you know, four to five people and I'd say, hey, listen, either people can come or have a phone call, you know, whatever. And, um, you know, I would just say something along the lines of the day of, oh, by the way, I'm going to bring my business partner with me because she has the most phenomenal story that you just have to hear. The other thing I would, that I think is really important to do is picking your third party validation based on the person's needs. So you're not going to have talk to someone who, you know, maybe has, um, uh, let's just say Alzheimer's because that's the one that's near and dear to my heart. Um, so, so, you know, if I have somebody that I know that has an amazing story about Alzheimer's, I'm going to actually ask them if they'd be my third party for that person. Because what I can say to that person is, Hey, I have the most phenomenal person who has had great results. Now, remember our product doesn't cure, treat or mitigate any disease. We obviously always want to say that, but I have this person who's had phenomenal results. It is a um, testimony. I would love for you to talk to them. They validate you. They make it about you. And from there, it, I mean, it, it was gold. You guys, I went from, you know, nine months in this company to those months, just spinning my wheels, not listening to anybody, following this proven system, third party validation, learning the customer, the company story. I wasn't worried about, being perfect and PowerPoints and all that. It was just sharing, 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 one-on-ones, webinars, phone calls, on and on and on. And in that, and in seven months, I was able to grow to the rank of Pro 5 along with my amazing team. I mean, I have the most phenomenal team because all we did was just duplicate that exact same thing over and over and over and over. And that's exactly, that's all you need to know. Company story, know that like the back of your hand. But the cool part is if you're brand new, learn the company's story just so you can do the invite, learn how to do the invite. I promise you, you guys, in the beginning, my upline, I probably drove them crazy because what I would do is if someone was like, okay, I'm going to talk to this person. She's a massage therapist. I think she'd be amazing. And the first thing I do is I'd jump on and I would text my upline. And I'd say, okay, here, I'm going to talk to this massage therapist. She's awesome. I've known her this long. I'd tell her a little, them a little synopsis about the person. And I'd be like, okay, now what do I say? And I would wait until I got a text message back and they'd say, okay, say this. And they text me something back and then, okay. And I didn't question it. I, okay. I shouldn't say it that way. There were times I'd get a message back and I'd be like, whoa, I can't do that. But I stopped listening to this and I knew that what they were doing was working. They're the ones making the money, therefore that's why I'm asking them, right? And so I turn and I would just send their message. And then all of a sudden I'd get that call and I would, I, I would you know, I, I'm telling you, you guys, annoy, be that squeaky will, annoy your upline, <laughs> I promise you text them everything, ask them questions. They'd send me a message back and I would send them the message, say, here's what they said, what do I do now? What do I do now? And so if you're brand new, don't feel bad about not knowing what to do. You're not really supposed to. That's the beauty of this business. You're not supposed to know what, you're, you're, what to do in the beginning. You're just learning. Rely on your upline, tell your story. Why Life Vantage? Why does Life Vantage, what attracted you to the company? For me, it was the products. And then, and then, you know, a couple months in, I was like, I could do this as a business. It's going to fulfill my dreams. And I tell people that it's going to change my family's life. And I can tell you guys now I've been with the company, uh, four years and I've been a stay at home mom for the last three. And I've absolutely loved, loved, loved my life because of what this company has done. And so all I did was tell my story over and over and over and follow that blueprint. 
follow it, follow it. Third party validation, one on ones, calls, read books, study other network marketers, study your upline, and be that annoying, annoying, annoying squeaky wheel. Because I'll tell you what, it absolutely, absolutely works. So thank you so much for listening to me ramble on. Um, I do want to introduce to you guys tonight um, beautiful Amy from um, Sioux Falls, or actually Chamberlain, South Dakota. And let me tell you guys something. This is so awesome. So I met Amy for the first time in Anaheim. That was our first time meeting. And so I'm sitting in the convention center and this beautiful, tall, like super tall blonde comes and sits right in front of me. I'm five one. <laughs> so her and I are like, like, I think I'm right here on her. You guys like, seriously, she's just this super tall, gorgeous blonde. She sits down right in front of me and I'm like, I'm not going to see a darn thing the rest of this, but you know what? Then she turned around and I met her. And she is the most amazing woman you will ever, ever meet. So if you guys, I mean, seriously, besides Tanya Sheldon, who's also a tall, beautiful blonde, she actually towers Tanya. It's pretty darn awesome. So um, Amy is a farmer's daughter in Chamberlain. I'm going to, um, let's see. Did I unmute you? Maybe I didn't do it right. Oh, there we oh. Go. yay. Yes, I can. Okay. Can you guys hear her? Give her a thumbs up. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Okay. So, um, Chamberlain, South Dakota. Okay. And she went to American country school from K middle school through eighth grade and then Chamberlain high school. And she graduated in 1991. So you're just a couple years older than me. Um, and then she went to Northern state is that Northern State University or? It's Northern State University, Aberdeen, South Dakota. Nice. And, and she graduated in 96 with a marketing and finance background. She spent her more, majority of her life in customer service uh, one way or another. And I love that she said, my mom and dad said I could talk to a fence post, <laughs> which comes in handy in the people business. Absolutely. I mean, you guys, she is the most amazing woman you will ever, ever meet. And what I love right here, she also lived, she loves all kinds of music and she lived in Nashville for six years. I'm jealous. I love Nashville. Nashville is so beautiful. Here's what I love the most. She says she's settling into this statement. Christ is in me. I am enough. And I think that is so beautiful. That just shows exactly, exactly who you are. So Amy, I'm going to let you take this away. And Amy's going to talk about her product story with us tonight. Well, thanks for having me and asking me to do this, Jeanette. So um, you and Tanya, Tanya both know that it's, I'm, I'm stepping out here, stepping out of my box, out of the comfort zone. So <laughs> I can talk, but it's different when it's on an um, uneditable video. Um, so, but as for product story, um, I was introduced to the company in, really in last July, just by following Tanya on Facebook. Uh, Tanya and I both went to Aberdeen, went to Northern State, and um, she reached out to me six years ago for the very first time. And I said, thank you, but no thank you, and it was crazy in my world. And um, then I, last July, I kept seeing different stories, and um, I finally reached out to her and said, okay, I've tried everything else. I'm ready to try this and see what it does for me because I wanted more energy. I was looking for just the missing piece of helping me feel better. And I went and I had blood tests done because I wanted to see in black and white if it worked. I was that girl. I didn't want to just have a feeling. I wanted black and white proof. And so um, in November, I did my blood test and I, was, I got my box, got my products, all excited, took everything. I did um, blood tests again in March and I had struggled with vitamin D deficiency for a long, long time, like years. And um, my vitamin D hadn't been over 25 in probably I mean, six or seven years since I've been going to my current doc. And after three months on the product, it was a 47. So that right there sold me. And um, since then I've been better about 
doing blood tests, doing, you know, going in and having that done and just to check the levels because I want to see the continued success and just, I want, again, want to still see it in black and white. So I went back in um, in August, just the end of August, and my cholesterol dropped 52 points. Um, and then fat burn, if y'all are not on the fat burner, <laughs> buy it, do it. Um, I've been, you know, I've been eating healthy and, and eating, my eating habits have changed a lot in the last two, three years. So it's not like I made a drastic change to my diet, but when I added fat burn to my regimen and I was consistent about it, um, I, and now that I'm actually, I'm in a challenge at the gym and I go, I work out at least three times a week. I'll go lift once, like probably once or twice a week, but I lost six inches in the last month. And so again, the, the consistency of using the product. So the product in the beginning, just the, the energy and the vitamin D in itself was enough for me to say, this is real. This is the real deal. I need to do this. And then continuing to go in and make a point of doing the follow-up to see, because like we say, you can't see your cholesterol go up and down. You can't see really your vitamin D go up and down. You need something, a, a gauge, a, a mark to tell you. And I can't say that it's made me worse. Obviously it's made me so much better and feel 10 times better. And, um, you know, I just love it. And, um, I won't stop ever, no matter what I have to do, I will never stop. So, um, product story that I have, there's three right there and alone in less, a little less than a year's time on the products is what it's done for me. So I just, I absolutely love it. Um, and I need to work on my product story. I need to work on exactly what you're talking about tonight. I need to have it more you know, formulated and down, but the excitement is not hard to have because when you feel as good as I do now, I, it, it, it exudes. And everybody's asking me, like, what are you doing different? Like you, I can really tell what's, what, what are you doing? And so just sharing people and saying, hey, this is what it is. And it's, you know, it's black and white. It's real. So. That's so awesome. I, that's amazing. So do you take the fat burn in the morning and in the, do you take it with like your two biggest meals? Is that how I, you're doing that? I actually, um, I started taking the fat burn in the morning and when, right when I get up, I take the fat burn, Nerf one, Nerf two, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. And I've only been taking it once a day. So, um, I haven't been taking it twice a day. Now, wow. so, I see this massive change, I'm like, maybe I need to add some more. <laughs> you know, of course, when you, when it happens, you always want more, or at least I do. Um, yeah. but, um, no, just been taking it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. And then I have breakfast a little bit later, but yep. Consistently every morning. That's phenomenal. So you're taking just two tablets once a day and you lost six inches in 30 days. Yes, ma'am. Holy smokes, you guys. Does that not totally excite you? Like that just fires me up. So that is so awesome. And then your cholesterol's down. Yes, cholesterol that is 52 points. It was 274 in March. And as of the end of August, it was 222. So I like to say I'm a little bit less of a solid now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is amazing, you guys. And that's, that's what I'm talking about, hearing these testimonies and then using that when you're talking to people and in your story. So anyways, um, thank you guys so much. I know we try to keep it short. I guess we're five minutes. If you'd like, I could sing to you or maybe Amy can or, <laughs> or we could just let you off the hook early tonight because we didn't talk long enough. But thank you so much for, um, for having us and Amy, you are just such an amazing, beautiful woman. And I am excited. I, I'm going to write down, if you could write up your testimony, that would be amazing. I mean, how many of you guys could totally use that? I could use that big time. So if you could write that up and we can get that to the pose, that would be awesome to put on. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. You guys. Thanks again for having me. Right yeah. Back. yeah. Thanks guys. Have, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Are there, are there a couple more minutes time. available? Yes, there are.
Okay, this is Don Krishnaswamy. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, whoops, let me turn up my light here. I'm just, I just, I was only, I came onto this Zoom late because I was talking with a prospect, another one of my musician colleagues, and I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just so new at this. I sometimes feel nervous and tongue-tied, and you know, I, I, for the first time, really, I just stuck the video in front of her on biohacking. Dot com instead of like any preamble it's just like do you have 15 minutes go to your computer here's type in biohackingyourbody.com press play and sit there for nine minutes and we'll talk afterwards and you know she she immediately said you know it sounds amazing but i mean i guess i'm a little skeptical does it really do what it says because in the video it sounds great but does it really do what it says I just, it's like I'm, I'm dying to have somebody else on the phone to help me because I, I just I just feel tongue-tied and nervous and I'm trying my best to say all the right things. Does anybody have any advice for me? Third-party validation, honestly. She, so like you said. But she was not ready to, to have anybody else on the phone. I, I said a couple of times, look, I, you know, I can get somebody to, to help with, with your questions right now. I'm new with this, and, and but she, she was like, "Well, let me look at this some more," you know, and, and she just don't I, give her the out. Dawn, don't give her the option to get out. While she's watching that, you get someone else on the phone, and as soon as she's done, say, oh, by the way, my friend joined this conversation, well, that seems, and she's that here to like answer trickery. your question. You're going to have to help me with that. But, it seems like trickery, and it's not expected, and I called her in the guise of being a friend, touching base after a long time, and now suddenly well, there's another person. Well, you can say before. You can work. say before you before you play the video. I'm going to try to get one of my friends on the phone. Um, so because you're going to have tons and tons of questions when it's done, and I know I don't have the answers because I'm so new. So I'll have someone here for you. I mean, I don't think it's true. I mean, I know it's hard. It's hard to do, and it's very uncomfortable to do. But it's so important, and I. It, this is Jackie Shore. I've been in the business four years, and I'm I'm a I'm someone who didn't do this all the time, but it's so important now. Either sitting in front of them um, to do that, um, so that they can see the facial expressions and things like that, or get someone else on the phone. Because once they start going, well, I'm going to go down. They start going down another path and forget it. To get them back is hard. Yeah. And, you know, she it, said she's going, she's going to look at the information on biohacking your body. Mm -hmm. I pointed her to the research page and all that. She said she's going to write down her questions. And I said, you know, I'll follow up in a week or so. And are you saying that typically we lose them at that point? I wouldn't follow up in a week. I mean, for me, I would get back with her in a couple of days and always, always, always give homework. So it sounds like you gave some homework, which is check out biohacking your body. Um, you know, the patents and things are on there. If you can, I would just, you know, maybe with in a couple of days, um, depend, you know, what's her story? What, what was your reason behind talking to her, I guess? Uh, that she's one of my uh, musical colleagues from the past that I haven't connected with in years. She seems like somebody who, she's just got a great spirit. I, I thought of her even potentially for being interested in the business opportunity. And so I connected with her, you know, and yeah the nicest person in the world like someone who would fit well with this life vantage culture and just not contact with her awesome then what i would do is i would just say you know after based on our conversation you know sunday night um i just couldn't stop thinking about how amazing you would be at this, you know, this company, because how amazing this company is, or, you know, you know, if you want to push, you know, do more of the products, talk about the products and get, and then just say, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I have, you know, the, you know, this person on the line, because I just want you to hear their story. Don't have the person try to sell them. Don't have the person tell the story again about life vantage. That is the, and I think there's the misconception of third party validation as well. In the beginning, third-party validation is the person jumping on and helping you. But after a short period of time, third-party validation should just be that. That person getting on and saying, Don is the most phenomenal man I've ever met. You know, he jumped into this company. 
He believes so wholeheartedly in these products and, you know, it's changed his life this way. You know, I just want to tell you and share with you my story um, about, um, you know, my, you know, my story. And so for me, I would, I would simply say, you know, I joined and I would, and I would talk about my story and that's that, that four part story. That's what every third party validation should be. It's just that four part story of who you, who that person is, why they didn't like what they were doing and then why, how it changed their life. And so I never give someone a week you definitely want to try to, you know, give them homework okay. and then say, I'll just get back with you in a couple of days. And it, and then just don't Thank really you. like, yeah. um, Jackie was saying, don't give her really an option. Just say, Hey, I've got this person on the line because I care about you because I, you know, make it definitely, definitely, definitely about her and why you wanted to get back to her, you know, and then have someone else and just say, I just want them to tell you your story. Just, you know, five minutes of your time. Because yes, it is scary and people do feel like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be sold. You know, here comes the closer, right? I mean, that's exactly how I felt. I, I feel your pain. That's exactly what I felt when I would think, oh, I have to bring someone on for a third party. I think, oh man, they're just going to think, oh, that's, she's going to close it. But I'm telling you, by following that blueprint, talking to them, giving them, you know, some homework, bringing on that third party, every, it just changed it for me. It literally changed the face of my business. So, okay. yeah, I love, so love, love that. Phone, not by, should we follow up by phone, not by a text? I would, I would, how would you normally talk to her, I guess? Well, let's put it this way. I would next send her a text instead of being in her face again. I, I mean, again, I'm new at, at yeah. doing this. I, I feel like I don't want to come on too strongly. And so sure. I would send a text, which is a little more gentle. You know, and not just like I'm, he's calling again in two days. Gosh, I barely, mm. you know, we just talked two days ago. Give me a chance kind of thing. Maybe shoot her a text and just say, since that's how you normally do it, I would just shoot a quick text and say, um, what was her name? You said Sue? Donna. Donna. Don Sorry, Donna. <laughs> I don't know where I got Sue. <laughs> I'm just making <laughs> stuff up as I go. <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would simply be like, hey, hey, Donna, just a quick text and say, I thought of, you know, do you have five minutes? Because I really, really wanted to just talk to you for just, you know, just five minutes and share something with you. And that's it. Just, just, and tell your person, your third party, tell them, I only told her it's going to be like five minutes. Just say, I just really am so excited to talk to you. I just want to, you know, give you just five minutes, you know, along those lines and then have your third party on there. And then again, with posture, like you've never had before, just be like, Hey, you know, Donna, I, I, I just can't stop thinking about how amazing you are and how this could just, you know, change your life in, in whatever area you want to, you want to do. I just wanted to take five minutes of your time, introduce you to someone. Cause I just want you to hear their story. That's it. And she might at first roll her eyes and be like, Oh my gosh, he's gonna, he's gonna, the closer is getting on. But if that person doesn't jump on and say, okay, you ready to do this today? Are we going to sign you up right now? And they don't do that. And they, that's where it's the story and that's where it's about the people and all you're doing is just you're validating you by bringing someone else on and you're showing her that you truly care about her by bringing someone else on and allowing them to share their story allowing them to share you know um, um whatever it is that you felt in your heart she needed to know and just really all all of it has to be about your heart you just need to keep that out there and let her know that and she'll see it and then you also got to remember that you can't say the wrong thing to the right person you can't say the right thing to the wrong person right i mean it just might not be i've had so many people i thought oh this person would be amazing and then they were like no never and then i thought this person would never do it and that's the person who said yes crazy and what about my, con my concern about Sid? Yeah. I, I was just going to say, I, I'm, I'm fairly new at doing the business part, but just literally in the last week, I think one thing that's really going to help me with my business is one, you got to be detached from the response and two, it's a numbers game. And so what I've had to learn is if they're giving you that much of a, of a pushback, 
then just say, listen, it seems like, you know, you don't have time for this right now. Or you're not really into it right now. I've got so much. I'm so excited about this. There's other people that I really want to help. So just get back with me at a later date. If you feel like it, if not, you know, just wanted to get it to you, but, but I'm going, you know, I, I gotta go. I, I, I can't do this. And I wouldn't say it in a rude way that way, but I'd just say, you know, it, it's for some people and it's not for others. And at this point, it feels like it's not really for you. So let's just, you know, call it a day. And, and if you ever hear about it again, just remember I'm the one that, that told you about it and please come back to me and we can revisit it. But, um, but I think what's held me back is first off, because you have these people that you know they need it. And so you want them to have it because you want them to have the health that you have, but you can't make people believe and you can't, you, you can't make them. So you've got to learn to just, just divorce yourself from the result. And if they're really pushing back, especially on a three-way validation and you're brand new and you don't feel comfortable with sharing what she needs to share, just need to move on and say, you know, listen, if you ever change your mind, please give me a call. But, um, you know, the, the, apparently this is just in for you right now. I, I mean, Jeanette, would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only thing I do different is just because I believe, I guess I just would say, Hey, you know, can I check back with you? I might just, yes. you know, do that, you know, definitely move on. But then just say, you know, I would, I, you know, can I check back with you in a, in a few months? And then if we, if we have a new study or a new story or something, right. yeah. Yeah. Has anybody, has anybody lost good friends or colleagues because now it looks like there's another ulterior motive in, in the friendship or the association? Like, you know, th there's, there's an element that's been brought in that's just like, that's weird. He's now after me for this. When we've known each other for two decades. There's never been anything like this. Mm -hmm. I think if you, if you continue on, I've, I've, we have some friends that my husband was friends with in high school and he's 57 now. So we've been friends forever. Um, the gentleman's having some really weird neurological things and I, I know how much pertainum would help and the doctors put him on an anti schizophrenia medication um, and glaucoma eye drops to activate his brain. So it's been one of the most frustrating things and I'd say over the last two months we've maybe gotten a little closer to that point of alienating them just because when we see them I, I just want so bad and my husband and I were talking today and it's like, you know, you just can't do that. You can share it with them and show it to them. And if they're not receptive, then quit talking about it to them because it will alienate them and they will just see you as a salesperson. It's be sensitive to that line in the sand, that point at which people start to, to go, whoa, what is this? What's happening to our relationship kind of Right. Hi, Don. it's Susan Breakstone. <laughs> Hi. So yesterday, I'm here in Phoenix. Um, yesterday, Blue even spoke, uh -huh. and this came up, the NFL, you know, the No Friends Left Club. And he talked about how that really wasn't his experience, and what, that it's really, really important to not push it. To, the friendship is way more important. And as right. eager as what was just stated is that it's frustrating, especially when someone's going through something. Right. You're convinced that this will help, right? I mean, right. you're brought to tears. My own father, I cried and I said, I can't sleep at night knowing there's something that I think could help you. I mean, I get emotional now, but it, my friendship and my relationship with my dad is way more important than pushing this. And totally Blue agree. is really, really firm on that. Yeah. Let no. it go. The, I have a friend for seven months who actually just brought it up to me today. She has not been interested in it at all. And she just said something to me this week. Right not important. Friendship's more important. I, I yeah. definitely agree. I agree. I Thanks agree too. Just have to be sensitive to where that point may be starting to come. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. I think, I think we're just so passionate about what our products are. And we're also equally as passionate about this business because we've watched it change so many people's life. I mean, the stories, you know, the people on my team who have been able, you know, uh, school teacher who was able to retire a little early and now she gets to spend all this time with her grandkids. I mean, like I, I hear those stories and I just want this for everyone. So I love your passion, Don. I love that, you know, that that's where you're at. You're saying, I just want to help everybody, but it's hard. Like Susan said, you just, you can't help them all. And you got to just, you just got to leave it where it's at, give them the information and then, and then, you know, go from there. All you can do is just, when you see her again, just have that posture. If, you know, 
I would say in the next couple of days, try to reach out to her, send her a quick text message to say, do you, can I have five minutes of your time? Bring on a third party, have that third party. Just tell them, I, you know, I just want this person to tell you their story. It's going to take five minutes when that part. And I promise you, she will probably be a tad annoyed, but she will find out right then and there that you're not trying to sell. You're just trying to give more information and hopefully she'll see that you're heart in it. And that's the most important part is for people. And that's why our story, you guys, is so important. So important because our story is us. People want to join our business because they want to join you, Don. They want to join who you are and what your belief is. They don't want to join for anything other than that. So just continue to be, you know, open and real. And I promise you it, it'll, it'll happen. If you just keep like Don was saying, it's a numbers game. I've talked to a lot, a lot, a lot of people and you just got to keep doing it over and over. So yeah. Yeah. I hope that was all great information for you and Thank hopefully you everyone much. else on here. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so yeah. much. Yeah. You bet. You bet. If you need anything, I don't know who your upline is. If you need anything, <laughs> Talk to your upline and you're up. Is Mia laughing? <laughs> That's because I'm his wife and I'm just listening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, my upline is my wife, my sister in law, uh, an amazing group of people. So. You do have an amazing group of people. Oh my gosh. I absolutely just love your group of people. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for this call. It was awesome. Oh, you bet. Absolutely. Absolutely. You guys, it was so nice to meet you, to meet you, Don. And you. I will hopefully see you guys all in Salt Lake city soon. So have yes, a beautiful you will. Sunday. Thank Good you. night. Bye. Good night. Bye.